Hello and welcome back to Institutionalization. In this video, I'm going to run through three exam questions with you with my tips for how to answer them. I've got one standard six marker, one application question, and then an essay. I also have the essay fully written out for you at the end of the video, and then obviously you can see what the six mark outline would look like together with three or four evaluation points. So let's jump straight in. And the first one is a standard outline for six marks. So the key here is we have a describe question, which is an outline. We have to talk about research has shown. We don't necessarily have to talk about how the research was done. And we are talking about the effects of institutionalization. Okay, we are also talking about Romanian orphans, which is um, something that we need to put into our answer. So first and foremost, we are talking about research, but we are talking about findings only. Okay, so Rutter's English Romanian adoptee study is a nice place to start because they look at both intellectual impacts and also the attachment side of things as well. So you've got your delayed intellectual development, which was persistent at age 11, depending on age at adoption. So you had people who were adopted before six months who had a mean IQ of 102 versus those adopted after six months who had a mean IQ of 86 and those who were adopted after two years who had a mean IQ of 77. There was this argument that the effects could be reversed if they were adopted before the age of six months. You then also have a high proportion of disinhibited attachment. Feel free to talk about the behaviors associated with disinhibited attachment at this point if you want to, and you can talk about why people might exhibit those behaviors if you want. You can even bring Xena in here as well if you want with the Bucharest Early Intervention Project. That's also fine, um, but remember we're talking about the findings, and also remember you don't want to over-egg it. It's six marks, which means you do want a, a fair amount of detail, but you can easily do all of that in 150 words or so. So you don't need Rutter and Xena to the same extent. A lot of one and a little bit of the other will be fine. So that is our first question. So let's move on. Our second question is an application question. This is a question that came up in one of the early AQA papers. Um, I think it was 2017 or round about that time. Um, it's a story about an orphan who's been recently adopted by a British couple. And effectively, the story tells you that the adoptee, Anka, has been in an institution for a lot of her life. And we now need to advise the parents about what to expect. So again, like with the other question that we just did, we're going to be focusing on intellectual problems and we're going to be focusing on attachment problems as well. So there's a variety of different ways that you can go about this. I would definitely start with Rutter and the fact that he found delayed intellectual development can be an effect of institutionalization. Now, here is the thing that you have to bear in mind. You are advising Anka's parents, right? The fact that Rutter found that is great. But what does that mean for Anka and her parents? Well, it means that she may struggle to keep up at school. She may require some extra support. She may be behind her peers, anything like that. It will, of course, depend on her age at adoption. So if she was adopted after the age of six months, this is more likely to be a thing. And we aren't given any information on that, but it is fine to put that detail in there. You will get marks for it. Okay. You could talk about the whole attachment issue. You could bring in a little bit of Bowlby if you wanted to. There's nothing wrong with crossing over your topics. So you could say that Anka may form to struggle attachments or may struggle to make friends because maybe her internal working model isn't fully developed because Anka wouldn't have had that primary caregiver within the institution, which means that she might not have developed that side of things yet. Okay, so that might be a nice little crossover element to talk about if you want to. However, if you want to keep it with institutionalization and attachment, then you could say something like Anka may display inappropriate social behavior towards all adults, because that's a sign of disinhibited attachment, which is often found in children who have been in institutions from an early age. Okay, But this will also depend on her age at adoption. 
Okay, the advice that you are giving here is that she may display this behavior. So parents need to be aware of that because obviously it's something that you're gonna to want to know about your child to keep them safe. Anything like that is great and all of those things will get you marks. You just have to make sure that you bring it back to anchor, okay? So the final question then is an essay question. It's a 16 marker, discuss the effects of institutionalization and refer to the studies of Romanian orphans in your answer. Okay, it is a discuss question, which means you need strengths and limitations and ideally some discussion points in there that will really get the essay flowing. Okay, so we'll have a look at the essay in its entirety in a minute. For now, let's just have a think about what's going to go in. Okay, so we'll start off with our AO1. Ultimately, one study is enough. Okay, a bit of procedure is fine. It's nice to know what's going on and what happened, but your focus should ultimately be on the effects or more importantly, on the findings of that research. So you can start with the English Romanian adoptee study, you get a bit of procedure, and then you jump straight into the findings. Delayed intellectual development depending on age at adoption, and also attachment problems, specifically disinhibited attachment. Like I said before, feel free to talk about the behaviors associated with disinhibited attachment, and feel free to talk about why those behaviors might be occurring. Zena can have a quick mention if you want. I wouldn't waste my time talking about what the research entailed. I would probably just mention that Zena also found similar things in terms of attachment and then give a quick rundown of what was actually found. Okay, I wouldn't do any more than that because you'll go over your word count. You need about 150, 160 words in your outline. Any more than that and you're looking at running out of time if you're not careful. You can, of course, do it the other way around if you want. You can give Zena all of the airtime and only give Rutta a little bit. The only reason I tend to prefer the English-Romanian adoptee study is because it mentions both the intellectual development and also the attachment issues. Now, in terms of your discussion, bear in mind the order of your points is important because you want your essay to flow. Three discussion points will make a decent evaluation section. If you get three, with maybe a little counterpoint as well, so you've got like three and a half, three and three quarters, then that's going to be great. Okay, I would do it in this order. I would start off with my real world application and how research into Romanian orphans has improved the care system. I would move on to the fact that the Romanian orphan studies were better than previous orphan studies. And then I would probably chuck my little counterpoint in there that says that actually the institutions were in fact really, really terrible. And so actually those confounding variables that we thought we'd got rid of, we might not actually have got rid of because we may have just been introducing new ones. And then I would finish it off with a really nice discussion point, which is my social sensitivity point, where I get to talk about the self-fulfilling prophecy of the research, and I get to ask the question as to whether or not the results should actually have been published, or whether they're going to cause more damage than they're worth. If you've got no idea what these points are, by the way, then I would encourage you to go back to the actual video on institutionalization where I go through all of them in a bit more detail. Okay, the link to that should be on your screen now. It'll also be on your screen at the end as well. Okay, so that is what my essay is going to look like. And this is what it looks like in practice. We start off with a tiny, tiny introduction. We don't do very much more than that because actually we're going to run out of time and space if we add more. Your introduction doesn't have to look the same as mine, that's just what I've gone for. I've then done a line and a bit on the procedure, the English-Romanian adoptee study. I'm not going into too much detail because again, I wanna be focusing on the effects rather than on the procedure. It doesn't tell me in the question that I have to talk about the procedure, it just says refer to the studies, and that's what I've done. I then have a nice chunky paragraph on the effects and the findings and I decided to give Zena a little bit of airtime, and I just said, 
Xena also reported higher levels of disinhibited attachment and low levels of secure attachment. That's all it did. It just gives a little bit of extra breadth and depth to my outline. So then I move on to my evaluation points. My outline is about 160 words, by the way. So I'm slightly over where I want to be, but I know that I write quite quickly. So that's fine for me. You can quite easily cut some bits out of there. For example, that last sentence that if you cut that out, then you'll go back down to about 148, something like that, which is kind of perfect. Moving on then, this is my first evaluation point. It is my real world application evaluation point. It's one of the longer evaluation points um, because I really wanted to hammer home that it is a good point and that a good thing has come of it. Okay, notice by the way that I haven't started my evaluation point by saying something like one strength of the research is, I've kind of mixed it up a little bit um, just to, to help it flow a little bit. After I've done that, I move on to another strength, which is the fact that it has no confounding variables, and I explain that the Romanian orphan studies are better than previous orphan studies, and I explain why as well. Okay. I also finish that off by explaining that that means it has higher internal validity because the results are less likely to be confounded. I've then got my short counterpoint in there that just says we may be introducing our own confounding variables because of the poor conditions within the institution. This is a point that if you want, you can get rid of. However, it is a nice discussion point to get a little bit of a backwards and forwards between the two. So, you know, if you think you've got the time to, to put it in, then put it in. If you think you're going to want to get rid of it because you're going to run out of time, then you can get rid of that one because your final point is another nice discussion point, which is the social sensitivity one. Okay. Again, notice how I'm not finishing off with one more limitation is, but I'm finishing off with one final point to consider is, and then going at it that way. Okay. Again, these are just little things that add a little bit of flow to the essay. Okay. Word count is around 550 to 600 words. Again, it's slightly longer than your average essay. That's because I've got the fourth point in and because I ended up writing about Xena in my outline. So if you were to take both of those things out, you'd probably get back down to about 500, which is about perfect. Okay, But you have to know for yourself, is essay writing a strength? Is it not? Do you write quite quickly or quite slowly? What could you take out? What could you leave in? So it's a little bit of a trial and error process, but this is roughly what it could look like. So that is the end of this video. I hope it's been useful. It's the first video that is like this that I've done. So I hope it's been helpful. If it hasn't, please feel free to let me know and I won't do another one. But I hope that going through those questions has cleared some things up for you. If you have any questions or any feedback, please pop it in the comment section below and I will do my best to get back to you ASAP. Thank you very much for listening and I will see you in the next one.